identity crisis that recently played out in American court system and the controversy surrounding the authenticity of the Chicago State University credentials or to Bola Ahmed Tunibu, I must confess I'm distressed as a Nigerian. In addition to the barrage of media frenzy that the matter has triggered at home and abroad, I have had the unwholesome burden of responding to embarrassing questions about the Nigerian overall credibility as a nation to privileged audience and individuals both at home and abroad in different parts of the world as travel recently. To the outsiders, the entire Chicago University matter, as well as Chief Paula Ahmed Tinibu's many other lingering identity question marks have further worsened Nigerian left and glorious image internationally. Only informed outsiders now see every Nigerian as a foster, certificate forger, or identity thief. The controversy is unnecessary, just as the implicit global embarrassment could have been avoided. In my opinion, Chief Paula Ahmed Tinibu should have saved the nation and himself this protracted embarrassment and undo sight. Even in this late in the day, however, Chief Ahmed Paula Tinibu still owes the nation and the world a simple debt of obligation only he can discharge. And therefore, respectfully and humbly, call on him to immediately and personally mount the restroom of his present high office to perform a simple task once and for all time. He should reintroduce himself to a nation he governs and to the world for avoidance of further doubt. He should let the world know his name, his nationality, his place of birth, his parentage, the primary and secondary school he attended with dates as well as the actual universities he attended and certificates obtained. He should indicate clearly where and when he did his national youth service. In addition, if at any time he has had a change of name, he should say so clearly that circumstance, that is not in self is no crime. This is a simple task that will take only a few minutes. It requires no affidavit, prolonged court process, spokesperson, agents of surrogates. The task is one that only Chief Paula Tinibu himself, through a direct personal statement, can perform. He must perform this task urgently in order to let to rest once and for the last time the many lingering doubts and valid speculation about his true identity. A leader cannot assource a clear, unambiguous personal statement about his identity to political surrogates, officials, spokespeople, lawyers, or any other person, no matter how highly placed. A matter of personal identity of a leader is too sensitive and central to the function of the office he currently occupies to be trifled with and soft or disguised under the cloak of official. It is a about integrity, morality, values, and the rule of law that defines the character of a nation and its people. In his present capacity as a leader of a nation of over 200 million Nigerians, his true identity is a matter of grave national and international interest. The people deserve to know with certainty the true identity of their leader, and this overrides whatever right he may have to personal privacy. In addition, to the inter in addition, the international community deserves to know the true identity of the person with whom they will engage on Nigeria. Having stood for an election of elevated office of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Chief Bola Tinibu, have implicitly undertaken to cede the rights of private citizens in favor of life of open disclosure of his true identity and other circumstances that might be of public interest. His personal integrity demands no less. The legitimacy of the office he currently occupies demands that much and even more. Respect for the integrity and esteem of the Nigerian nation within the Committee of Nations makes it even more incumbent and compulsory. It is time to do the right thing. 
Long live the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you. Yes, so this video has been going viral and has been giving APC, Sinumbu and all their supporters, giving them heart attack, heartbreak. They cannot just fathom it. The simple question is that, say, why is it that Sinumbu cannot come out? During the campaign, he was running up and down. He managed, they managed to package him to Chatham, Chatham House. He was unable to answer questions. The questions that are directed to him, directly affecting him. He was assigning all those questions to to his uh, supporters to answer for him. All the media houses, this man was unable to go there. He cannot come out. He knew quite well that those were the questions they are going to be throwing at him. And that was why he never attended any debates or any um, a, a media interview from other other st stations. Anywhere you see that Inumbu is, you know, during that time, that he was attending or answering questions. You just know that uh, the ones that they formed among themselves, they will arrange it, they prearrange it. And that is why up to now, he, ha he has not, people cannot just go to him and make it or just interview him. And now they are calling on the, the government, the supporter, or they are planning APC, they are, people are calling the government to arrest Peter Obi and Atiku because of what? Because they say they they want to charge them for treason because they are coming out to mislead Nigerians. You come out and, and explain yourself. That's what they are saying. Even as careful as Obi is, a lot of his supporters are like, oh, that was not what you ought to have said. You ought to have said, oh, let him, let him, let him, let him resign. <laughs> uh, Ob Obi is good in this game. You know, some people just believe that uh, those who have talks, who can, you know, they know that these guys are very dangerous most of all these politicians are dangerous because they go with talks so those are the kind of politicians they ah they always try to praise ah this one strong go but when you see obi you know he just always you know saying his own thing systematically you know those who are really educated how can agbe be associated with him you see this mc lomo and they will come out and talking about that working for him the people people like asari doku but that one we cannot even hear him but when it was it was a uh, the issue of a uh, mesoma he was all over the place they want to they were trying to lure or align all of those things with say uh, will be but he couldn't work even those of them now that are some of these uh, apc supporters and Tinubu supporters that are hailing a mockery they know quite where what a mockery stands for you know a drowning man will always want to hold anything to stand oh anybody who is just coming to support us now even if no matter what the person must have said in the past yes it does not matter but so far the person is supporting us now so that we have that a uh, that large following large people talking in our favor that is just all what they want they know that even the reno is not truthful most of all these things that is always coming to accuse uh, will be of they know they is not serious but they just want to you know spread the narratives so this statement this uh press release uh, has been giving them headache have been giving them headache tinumbu you come out and speak you come out and speak i know if Somebody like uh, Obi, if Obi becomes the president, I I'm sure there is not going to be bottlenecks that a uh, spokesperson, uh, somebody uh, the presidency said most of the time you'll be seeing him coming on coming on the road, coming on coming to even meet the downtrodden on the streets because you don't have anything hidden that you don't want people to not to know, and these are the things that he was talking about. Unfortunately, his uh, supporters are not even getting it. He said this if they release that result, it will cause a uh, irreparable damage. And at the end of the day, they came out and began to tell us a uh, oh, boost stories. I know before the CSU released all those documents, they had already they knew what was on ground. So they had prepared themselves that these are the things that we are going to use to attack them. Now, because uh, uh, Atiku has even come out, you know, for his own press statement, this man too. Tinubu come out, not seeing where they go fit see, where you go feed do by itself. All of you who are supporting Ivo, Ivo will not dip out from you unless you are supporting Tinubu on a good ground. But if, if not on a good ground, see, the sufferness will continue to follow you. That is it. Anybody, whosoever, even if you are, you are supporting Peter B because uh, he's your uh, tribe person or because you are supporting him, even if you, uh, you know that what he's doing is not right. If you are supporting Atiku and you know that what he's doing is not right, but you are just supporting him because uh, you don't like the, the face of other political. Uh, 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 gladiators 
the evil you are supporting will follow you. Unless you are doing it on a genuine this thing. If you are supporting Obi, but because maybe ah, because I don't like Tinubu, you are supporting Obi. See, the suffering in this country will continue to follow you. And vice versa to everybody. Unless you are on a good ground. If not, ah, you need to better say amen to that. Better say better amen to that. So guys, let's hear your opinion and have your take on this.